The Nintendo Financial Report for the first quarter of 2020 went up late last night, and well, the Nintendo Switch is on absolute fire. Sales for the system, sales for games are just absolutely through the roof, and there's a lot of information to go over and digest with this. We're going to go over Nintendo Switch hardware sales, we're going to go over Nintendo Switch software sales, and then get a glimpse into the future of the Nintendo Switch for the rest of 2020. What's going on guys? I'm RGT85. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's talk about the Nintendo Switch and these just absolutely insane sales figures. So obviously with all the stuff happening in the real world right now, a lot of people didn't expect Nintendo to really talk about these system sales and them to be actually impressive. Now obviously things have been spurning on recently. Animal Crossing seems to be very popular, which is something we'll get into because it's absolutely just mind-blowing how successful that game has been. But as far as actual hardware sales are concerned, there were some caveats going into this. Of course, it's been pretty tough to get a Nintendo Switch system. A lot of retailers are closed, so you can't just walk in there and get a system. And of course, there is the fact of the scalping situation that we talked about where people are using bots to basically buy up large portions of Nintendo Switch systems that go up on popular websites like Walmart or Best Buy, and even GameStop is experiencing this as well. But we got a new glimpse into the Nintendo Switch system sales as far as total numbers and for the quarter numbers, and well, they're just absolutely crazy. So when it comes to lifetime sales, the Nintendo Switch system is at 49.57 million units sold. And and when it comes to the Nintendo Switch Lite, it is at 6.19 million units sold. So obviously some pretty good numbers there for the Nintendo Switch Lite. We haven't really heard all that much about success stories of the system thus far, but it seems like that is selling very, very well. It's at nearly half of the system sales for the entire Wii U when it was on the market. So obviously Nintendo is probably pretty happy with that. Now, as far as how that breaks down into new system sales for the Nintendo Switch in the first quarter of 2020, 2.27 million units were sold worldwide for the system. Now, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch Lite, they accrued another 1 million systems sold. So for the overall quarter, Nintendo saw 3.29 million Nintendo Switch units sold worldwide, which obviously with all the stuff happening in the real world right now is very, very impressive. Like I just said, you know, it's hard to get your hands on a Nintendo Switch system, but these numbers are actually up over year over year right now. It is up 24% over 2019's output for the Nintendo switch when it comes to system sales within that same time frame for the first quarter of the year so nintendo has to be very very happy with this obviously a lot of people are starting to get excited for the next generation of systems like the playstation 5 and the xbox series x but the nintendo switch isn't showing any signs of slowing down if anything it's actually getting stronger which is just crazy to me and what's even more astounding is if you take those numbers and you sort of break them down and you look at previous Nintendo systems like the GameCube and the N64, the Nintendo Switch has now outsold the N64 and the GameCube combined already, which is just absolutely crazy when you think about the GameCube, when you think about the N64 and all those top quality titles on there and how they were very impactful in the world of video games. To see the Nintendo Switch outsell those systems combined already is just absolutely staggering. So system sales are not not slowing down if anything they're gaining more momentum it's definitely something that nintendo needs to be paying attention to for the first half of 2020 as this year is going to be very important with these new consoles coming on the horizon now as far as software sales are concerned things are just getting well just absolutely crazy and even crazier than they have been the first title we're going to talk about has to be animal crossing though because animal crossing obviously has been sort of garnishing a lot of attention mainstream media is talking about animal crossing it seemed like it was going to be a very successful game well successful is like an understatement when it comes to this game animal crossing new horizons in the first 11 days 11 days sold 11.77 million units worldwide 11.77 million units worldwide this is one of the best selling games of all time now for the nintendo switch in just a matter of 11 days when it comes to the first six weeks of an animal crossing new horizon sales 13.41 million units sold worldwide. Now, taking into account the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo 3DS, which of course both got entries in the Animal Crossing series, those games sold around 10 million copies plus total, life to date. That's the final sales for those games. And the Nintendo Switch version of this game has absolutely crushed it in a matter of 11 days. Like, I think the importance of this game, this game really came out at the exact perfect time. You know, people were looking for an escape 
escape because they were stuck at home. They were looking for something to do, looking for something to play. And Animal Crossing New Horizons really sort of filled that gap. Like, why decorate your actual house when you could decorate this fantasy house with all these weird cast of characters that live on your island with you and hang out with your friends on your island and stuff? The timing of this game was just impeccable when it came to what was happening with real world situations. And Nintendo somehow found themselves in a perfect storm with this game because now this game is going to be one of the best selling games on the Nintendo Switch. It already is one of the best selling games on the Nintendo Switch and it literally just came out and it's kind of difficult to get your hands on a physical copy of this game, much like it is to get your hands on, of course, a Nintendo Switch system. Going over some other titles lifetime sales, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is still the highest selling Nintendo Switch game at 24.77 million. So roughly 25 million people have picked up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, about half of the Nintendo Switch user base, just absolutely mind blowing. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate comes in at 18.84 million units sold worldwide. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey are actually tied right now at 17.41 million units sold worldwide for each of those games respectively. And nipping right out of tails is Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield coming in at 17.37 million units sold worldwide. So obviously a lot of that outrage about Pokemon Sword and Shield was much to do about nothing because people are still buying this game. It's obviously selling very, very well and is one of the highest selling games in the Pokemon franchise already. Splatoon 2 has crossed the 10 million unit mark. Super Mario Party has also crossed the 10 million unit mark, and I just have to say why. I, I don't really like Super Mario Party, as you guys are well aware. I thought the core of the game was pretty decent, but the lack of, you know, substantial online stuff really sort of hurt this game for me, but obviously people are finding fun with this game, which is fine with me, as long as you enjoy the game. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. And once again, another game that I kind of question, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe comes in at 6 6 million units sold worldwide. We also did get some information on some other Nintendo Switch games, some things I want to highlight. Luigi's Mansion 3 is at 6.3 million units sold worldwide, so very good numbers for that game. That game was one of my favorite games of 2019, so I'm definitely glad to see that. Super Mario Maker 2 is at 5.5 million. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening at 4.38 million. Kind of interesting to see that. I thought that number would have been a little bit higher. And two games that we have covered on the channel before, Astral Chain and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, both are at over 1 million units sold at 1.08 million units. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX is at 1.26 million units. Obviously, that game probably wasn't quite as popular as Nintendo thought it was going to be. Maybe people were a little bit burned out with Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course, but decent numbers for that game overall. So while that is all well and good, one thing I was interested in was to see the roadmap for the Nintendo Switch, to see if there were any games, maybe some unannounced games that were going to be coming out in 2020 that they were willing to talk about and sort of put in a 2020 time slot. And really, there, there wasn't. They talked about stuff that will be coming out in May and beyond for first party and third party stuff. As far as the third party stuff was concerned, there wasn't any surprises in there or anything. But the first party stuff was the stuff that I was looking forward to finding out more information on or the collaboration efforts with the Nintendo Switch. And well, we didn't much get much of anything. So Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is of course coming out on May 29th, which is going to be a big game for Nintendo Switch owners. We have Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics coming out on June 5th for the Nintendo Switch, and then things just sort of fall off the rails after this. You have Bravely Default 2, which has a 2020 time slot, and nothing additional is given on that. And then you have some interesting titles here. We have Bayonetta 3 with a to-be-announced release launch date. You have Metroid Prime 4 Temporary for a... Uh, to be announced release date and the sequel to the legend of zelda breath of the wild temporary with a to be announced release date so basically what those temporaries mean for metroid prime 4 and the legend of zelda breath of the wild 2 is meaning that these titles are not set in stone now obviously i would expect something like metroid prime 4 to have some sort of words after it you had metroid prime 2 echoes you had metroid prime 3 corruption so probably there's going to be some sort of thing with metroid prime 4 and then a word following it and the legend of zelda breath of the wild too. That just sort of seems like too easy of a title to sort of title it as. Obviously, you'll want to have something sort of special with that, but really, this is very bleak when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. Now, obviously, all of this can change on an instant. All they have to do is announce some games via either a Nintendo Direct or even just upload YouTube trailers and put out a press release for upcoming games, but still, 
it is sort of you know concerning to see something like this especially written obviously investors will be able to ask questions to president Furukara very very soon that will be actually going up later tonight depending on when you're watching this video basically on the 7th they will have that information so i expect some people to ask a lot of questions about the future of the nintendo switch system as far as software releases are concerned because that is definitely one area that needs to be worked on as far as the third first party titles are concerned because those third party titles do seem to be trickling in as well but overall just absolutely crazy numbers for the nintendo switch like i absolutely love this system of course it is a system that i talk about a lot on this channel but to see it be so successful especially after the catastrophic sales of the wii u is just absolutely mind-blowing to me so kudos to nintendo kudos to the video game industry for staying alive and well during this crazy situation obviously video games are an escape for a lot of people so it's definitely interesting to see just how well video games are selling during this crazy situation but those are my thoughts on the nintendo financial reports obviously these sales are absolutely crazy the one thing i do want to say though is that i hope the future sort of starts shaping up sooner than later obviously the xbox series x is going to be getting a lot of information today we'll have a video on that later on as well so you're getting two videos on the channel today you're welcome you're welcome but let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications be sure to check out other videos on the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later